Good morning. So uh, it's a Friday morning, around about um, 0900 hours, and uh, we're just about to, to leave Bulwer Rex Beach here, which is a little town called Bulwer. Um, it's been a lot of fun. We did some fishing, didn't catch anything, but we did get some bites. I guess it's a positive thing for us. And uh, we're going to head over to a place called Malula Bar, which is on the east coast, to take us about six and a half, seven hours. There's very little wind, as you can see, it's very calm out here. Um, at least it's good visibility is good so we can see the the large container ships you probably can't see them on the GoPro um, but they're out there and um, yeah so we'll um, hit the track and we'll take you along this little journey so you can see what it's like along this part of the coast So uh, we're now moved because of a uh, problem with the anchor. So uh, today is Thursday and here in Malula Bar, the wind has got up to around about 68 kilometers an hour gusting. And um, the uh, anchor, uh, when well, it uh, came loose um, over at the western side of the marina here, uh, which is where you're allowed to park if you're a visitor and unfortunately it got a pretty scare. We got fairly close to um, some houses that are built in around this area and um, Louis and I were able to get the engine started in time and, um, and solve the problem. Um, but that meant that we couldn't re-anchor in the same place because the southerly was just gusting all the way down through the area that we're anchored at. And um, so anyway, we um, uh, rang up the Coast Guard and they um, kindly said that we could come down and, and anchor Oh, we're not anchor actually, just put a berth um, at the temporary public berth that's run by the Queensland government. So the harbour master had to be informed. He came over and saw us and spoke to us. And uh, so yeah, here we are on a very windy, gusty day at Malula Bar Marina. And um, as you can see, it doesn't look too healthy at all. So this is gonna go on for um, today, all of today and all of tomorrow and part of Saturday. Um, so here we are at the public marina. Louie and Sadie have gone off to have a coffee, um, hopefully at Pier 33. So Pier 33 is just over that direction. Um, they have really nice food there, nice coffee. Uh, we rang the marina up, that's uh, Malula Bar Marina, there's three of them here. And um, they were very helpful and very accommodating. They said we can have a berth for Saturday and Sunday night, and then Monday we'll um, head north up towards, um, well, Gladstone, hopefully. We'll be able to make that uh, in the next three or four days. Um, so let's hope the weather abates a little bit and uh, gives a bit of a break just to do more things on the yacht. Uh, but otherwise, um, yeah, that's what I'm up against. Uh, I'll show you outside. <coughs> Pretty busy 
in terms of boats. That little boat over there that you can just see in the foreground that uh, was had to uh, be rescued and brought over from some rocks. You can see there's some damage on the side of the hull. So yeah, the joys of uh, sailing around the world and um, coming into different areas that you think are going to be okay, but uh, they turn out to be fairly hectic in terms of the, um, the weather. So anyway, wish us luck. We um, hopefully be on our move on Monday, um, heading up north in Australia here. But uh, yeah, a few issues, but um, we'll talk about those later. Well, this is the rest of the world on Woolly Day. As I was telling you, it's a bit rainy um, and windy. There's Antipodes over there in the background, and here's the rest of the marina. So I'm just going over to the marina office to hand in some documents and hopefully they accept our insurance papers. They were saying that they're not happy with foreign insurance papers, which I kind of, I kind of understand, but um, I'm at the point where the end of the policy so I have to make a decision as to whether I stick with um, Ion Insurance Group or whether we uh, go with an Australian company which always seems to be a bit more expensive you know, that's what you've got to do I think the difference is about 2,000 US dollars so it's a significant amount of money anyway I'll uh, get back inside soon the guys are just having the coffee so I'm going to kind of catch up with them so I was uh, telling you guys earlier about how um, we had dragged our anchor and then nearly smashed into the, uh, the wharf around near the building. And now we're in this lovely little cafe. Say hello. This is called Pier 33. It's really nice. So this is down at the marina and there's all the boats outside. And I can't get into the marina yet until my insurance company sends through a certificate of competency. So we've organised that. Hopefully that'll arrive soon and I'll get all that sorted. Speak to you soon. Wow, so uh, we've had a few days relaxation uh, since the storm has gone here in Mooloola Bar. And now we're going to head up towards Fraser. So uh, I've heard it's quite a challenge sailing up that way, so it's going to be interesting to see how we go. Uh, we've managed to fix a few things on the boat. Uh, you might see a bit of a repair video for those. Uh, the crew are all uh, feeling a lot more relaxed um, after our incident. And um, yeah, so it should, hopefully, fingers crossed, it should be nice sailing. The weather's good at the moment, and uh, it's looking good to go for today. So in the next episode, we'll be heading from Malula Bar all the way to Double Point Bay, through the Wide Bay Bar, and through Fraser to get to Kingfisher Bay, which is a nice little resort on the end. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next episode.